In this video I'm going to show you how to forward engineer your data model uh, into the database. So I'm in PG Modeler. This is Modeler, a model that I was showing before. And to export it out it's pretty easy. It's File, Export. Select SQL in this case. 9.3 should be fine. And we'll just browse. Now I've already exported it. Uh, so I'll export it one more time and I'll call it version 2. And you just go export. It's pretty quick. Uh, and so we can just close that now. Um, and now what we need to do is bring pgmin3 onto the screen. So I have pgmin3 and I'm going to make a connection to the database. I'm going to call it gamma. Uh, the host name is gamma.athena.bzit.ca uh, port is it should be 5432 as the port I'm also the username should your, be your banner ID so lowercase a and your student ID and then use the password convention discussed in previous labs I'll go OK. And I'm connected. So I'm going to expand the server and get to the databases. And I'll click on mine and expand it. So what I want to do now is uh, run the SQL uh, that we generated from PG Modeler. So you can open up the SQL window. I'll just bring it forward. And then I will just click on the open file and browse to my var directory. So I've uh, navigated to my uh, H drive var gst7132 mod2 data directory and I'm going to load the Dunsmere version 2.sql. Uh, and then all I need to do is run this uh, execute button. Uh, it's important to pick the one that says PG script versus just a query because this has multiple lines in it. And we'll run this and just look at the output. So we see a bunch of things going on in terms of messages from the server uh, in that it looks good. Won't know until we go back to the database. So I'll just close this window for now. And if I refresh this, I now have a Dunsmuir uh, schema. And inside there I have five tables. Remember our diagram had four and I told you that there would be this other table that appears uh, called many plots has many plants. And that resolves the many to many relationship between plots and plants. So this is, uh, this is all we need to do. One is to get that model out as SQL and then run the SQL uh, using pgmin3. So this concludes this video.